Right, hello and welcome to Chimera Investigation. You can see here, uh, the Chimera right, is uh, basically a hybrid type of idea. Um, it's got like a mythological thing here, like a female monster with lion's head. And uh, an illusion. A thing which is what for put is illusion. Uh, and an organism contain a mixture of genetically different tissues. Right. So this is the Chimera. And as we know, like uh, when they turn about the trans uh, gender program, these people use a uh, use a trans program, but add a little bit more to it than just 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 that. You know, when they're creating the transes, they're using other type, you know, type of genetic splicing techniques and all this idea. Right? I must have done, you know, loads of experimentation. And uh, <clears throat> after looking at this stuff, I basically think um, that a chimpanzee right, is basically a chimeric, was an early chimeric animal, what they created when they were experimenting with the genetic engineering, right? And I think a chimpanzee is basically some form of where they uh, what do you call it, uh, mixed a, a gorilla or monkey type of thing with a human and the creator, the chimpanzee, right? Hence the name, you know, the, ch the chimera, the chimpanzee. And they're always, they were always trying to pass off a chimpanzee um, in front of your face, like, you know, go and read back. As you see there, like a human pink chimera. Um, I think the extent of the, when we use like the pig, uh, genetics and stuff like that. I think it's more like a small um, sort of a uh, like uh, skin grafting or something like that. You know, I don't think you can really, you know, um, make a pig human type of character or something. But I think they can definitely use the skin and uh, stuff like that. You know, because the skin seems very similar. Like, don't it? You know what I mean? But this is an interesting topic that got into it here. Uh, I definitely think that the, uh, the chimpanzee is basically representative of something where they've created it, right? That's why they're always, they're always showing it on uh, the TV programs and the movies and all that, you know, going right back. They're always like sort of showing off a chimpanzee. You know, I think it's basically a scientific uh, creation. It's not natural, you know, a chimpanzee. Of course, plenty of, plenty of code in the book, you know, plenty of code in this. As you can see, it becomes metaphor, obviously a chimera becomes metaphor for a, for a trans, you know, but a bit more than a trans as well, you know, when they've, um, you know, basically, made someone out there a genetic engineering program, you know. See as you know, chimpanzees first discovered in the 17th century, you know, see them as the uh, Bible and all the rest, you know, was created. <clears throat> Angola, genus Pongua, as a um, Jacob is Bontius. Very funny because, of course, you know, Jacob, you know, Jacob is here, uh, Jacob became Israel, you know. Angola. <laughs> Angola. So, you know, very, uh, Mockman. Prior to 1960, there was no new information about the behaviour of chimpanzees. So I basically think that chimpanzee breed, um, becomes a good early experimentation for that sort of genetics yeah, program.
you see all these like early films and that, you know, like yeah. Uh, I think this is from 1922. You're an order the chimp. Right? <clears throat> right there, I don't think it's a real chimp in this one, I think it's someone in a suit type of thing. Right? But all these type of early movies used to uh, you know, they used to have something to do with either a chimpanzee or a yep or something. You know, they all did them all them old black and white movies. Yeah. Angora Law. Remember all these type of old dear, you know, movies and dear stuff like that. And I always used to have, you know, all them, like Buster Keaton and dear uh, Harold Lloyd, all them, you know, they all used to have monkeys. And, uh, you know, guessing one of the main things in the movies and that. The spider monkey. So, you know, they all, all did at least one with a monkey or something, you know. And what we're basically doing was the, um, brainwashing people in the same monkey suit. You know, basically, this was all part of brainwashing, right? For multiculturalism, as I've, as I've done a video on this before. Mighty Joe Young, also known as Mr. Joseph Young of Africa, you know, was basically targeting the young, you know, through those type of films and that. And I was used to show these movies on a children's hour in uh, in Britain, for example. You know, I always used to show these old dear uh, Lauren Hardy, Buster Keaton, and then there, uh, where I did a video, I did a video on it, the children's uh, slot, where they had the monkeys, they had banana splits, they had one of these old black and white things, usually with a monkey in, right? And then they showed that, you know, King Kong, Mighty Joe Young, just all and all again, monkey propaganda, right? See there with the lion and the uh, lion and the ape, and the uh, you know holding the woman, you know. So you know very uh, coded stuff, read. <coughs> Tanganyika. What we're doing was showing more and more of the uh, apes and monkeys all the time, right? Basically, right? you got your King James Bible. Right? Remember the type of Moorish connection to King James with it via Span uh, Spanish. Right? Um, peacemaker, you know, King James. I mean, his really pronunciation, chain, you know, chain, meaning life. Right? So, given life, uh, Given life type of idea through the uh, scientific program, you know. <clears throat> like that sort of Jewish uh, tourist what a day, Lakaim, yeah, he has to life or something, you know. See, you know what I mean? Very similar to the Chimera, right? The Chime, basically, James, right? James. Same chimera type of thing. So when you had your Khmer Rouge thing, <coughs> obviously these are sort of infamous infamous idea and again this has to be hex out of their wait well, monkey program you know for a one of a better word like you know, genetic engineering you know, the chimeras red chimeras that you know they're all transes and they're all there uh, <coughs> with their program of course, a pot, pot, a pot, pot, you know, like a, a pool. And uh, the melting pot, you know, like a melting pot. The witches here, yeah, you know, witches pot, of course, you know, like, 
Of course, he's an infamous with a killing fields idea. So again, that's a Kieran and the Apples reference, you know, the killing fields. So again, not that works, right? Again, very famous war, you know. Me one ever questions did these things ever happen, you know. <clears throat> just take it, they just take it as, as granted. That's the, the history this happened. But if you see, of course, you know, 18666 and, and 8. And they're 33, you know, March 30, 33. And there's your uh, 11 pillars idea. Right? So again, totally good, and the, the Chimera War, you know, the Chimera War. <coughs> so again, it's got to be works. Also, Ottoman Empire type of thing, you know, it's totally, totally questionable. Well, it's a totally eunuch empire, isn't it? It's that they were eunuchs and African eunuchs and all that. You know, the famous, the, um, the Charles of the Light Brigade, you know, very quoted again. So this has got to be a works and all. Lies, and, you know, got to be a uh, works like. Of course, this is the, uh, basically a reenactment, you know. This is based on the same thing. Very Jewish region, of course, you know. Yeah. Total hex. You know, you know, big, yeah, they've got their own uh, Wikipedia page about television shows about chimpanzees. There's plenty of both, pan troglodytes. See, I think these things are basically a chimera care product of, you know, mixing uh, some form of it with a uh, with, uh, humanoid bit of genes, you know. Like in the same way the dwarfs, you know, dwarfs came with the trans program. And I always had dwarfs in the TV shows, and it's the same with the chimpanzee, basically. Mm. Chimp Empire. Got a lot of uh, hidden code about these things. Yeah. You know, chimpanzees are just like us. <laughs> you know. Lancelot Link, secret chimp. <laughs> Another uh, absolutely seven-figure budget. So it's you know, again, like you, know, you can see about like, like the dwarves and stuff like that. These things are very. Uh, coming out there programming that. The Gubra. Lancelot Link, of course, the, uh, the Lance become the, the medical, you know, like the Lancet. You see, these are like a Link, a missing Link idea in their trans program, you know. Definitely play a role in the uh, genetic engineering trans program, you know. If you remember the year uh, Chim Chimini, Chim Chimini would have been uh, ch Chitty Chitty Bang Bang and that, what was a famous children's film. Um, <coughs> B G and the B, of course, again, you know, G and the B. You know, really uh, funny stuff, like. Right? How are we as, you know, obsessed by chimpanzees? We, me and the chimp, <laughs> what a classic. Of course, the planet of the apes. You hear that? That one's in the air. It's in Mary Poppins, like it's not here, Chippy Bang Bang. But again, you know, chimeric, you know. Yeah, chimeric. Chimera again, 